Hello, it's Nadia here from Old Imaginings with another video. And today, as you can see, I am painting some Celtic notebook designs. This is a design that I created myself. I have done some other paintings of notebook patterns, but they were all designs that I took from a book. Whereas this design I created from scratch out of my head. I created the design and then I wasn't quite sure what picture I was going to draw in the middle. So I did a drawing of sort of what I thought Atlantis might look like, which was a lot of buildings and a lot of weird geometry which didn't quite turn out how I expected it to. So I wasn't really happy with the drawing in the middle, but I liked the notebook pattern around the side. So I thought I might just paint the notebook pattern around the side and then put an encaustic wax painting in the middle. As you can see, this is a much smaller design to what I'm used to painting and I found this remarkably fiddly and quite hard on the eyes actually. I could have done with a magnifying glass whilst doing this. I also found that because it had been a few years ago since I created this design, I wasn't quite sure where all the lines were going. So I kind of lost my place a few times and I think I managed to make it all go in the right direction, but it really was a challenge painting this small. I decided to go for some regal colours. I started with gold and I thought that the whole design was going to be one continuous knotwork at one point and I thought I better go back to the start and make sure that this is not all just one stream because it being all one colour would have been rather boring. But luckily it wasn't all one colour and I added some red in there later on to make it this sort of royal red and gold combination. At this point you can see the pattern slowly emerging where you've got the main part of the knotwork is gold and there's this one red stream going through the middle of it which I added here. I was thinking of adding silver but I was afraid that it might sort of disappear against the gold because they are very similar tonally. Unfortunately it's not a completely even pattern because two of the sides are mostly gold whereas the other two are mostly red with just one gold stream going through them. And although this looks alright, it's not completely symmetrical and I think it looks a little bit odd. All in all, I think it will look a lot better when there's an encaustic picture in the centre of it. Please excuse me going off the edge of the camera at some point. Um, I was just peering so closely at the pattern I kind of forgot where I was in the scene and this was very challenging to pick. I should probably have zoomed in a little on this, but again, the pattern is visible, it's just that to do so would have meant cropping my head off or there being just too much hair in this picture and I don't think you'd like to see my hair. As you can tell from my uh, little wax blocks, I do tend to use the gold an awful lot for my paintings. It just looks so nice and royal and I haven't got very much of it left as you can tell. Similarly, the silver which is in the tray on the side. I, I just think that these colours make such a pop and the wax has such a three dimensional effect when it's finished which really enhances any picture. By the time I got to this last part of the red, I knew what the pattern was, so I went a little faster on this because I knew where I was going. And of course, where some of the lines might have vanished, I'll go back over them with some ink and just define that a little better. Then I finished off the corners. Now, for the wax painting in the middle, the first thing I did was to measure piece of encaustic card and cut it to size. Because this is very shiny, there is a slight reflection on it. I knew that I wanted to go for cool colours, lots of blues and greens, to contrast with the warm reds and golds that I used on the border. And I did have an idea in my head for a fantasy castle against a waterfall and a sort of fantasy sea. But I kept it quite loose 
because the wax, being very free-flowing, is a very loose medium and is a lot of fun to work with. So I changed up the sky and the ground a couple of times before I was really happy with it. And I changed up the waterfall, made a sort of reflection going on, and then I added uh, some trees. Mainly one tree in the foreground. I was going to put some other trees in the background, but I didn't like it, so I changed that as well. And I was just going over it until I was happy with it in quite a lot of different ways. The main reason I kept going over the sky was because I wanted to get a really nice smoky effect that can be achieved with lots of tissue rubbing. I wanted this to resemble sort of layers of green cloud, which gave it that fantasy edge. Then I added some autumn coloured leaves and a pathway leading up to the castle. Finally, of course, there needed to be one single bird in the sky. I felt that the autumnal foliage would blend nicely with the gold border I'd done. The final touch was another piece of tissue magic. Rolling it up into a very small point, I created some radial lines emanating from the castle. I also used this to tidy up some of the points of the towers. Then I added it to my border. This scene, I realised, was much closer to the Celtic version of Atlantis, tall towers of glass. Now I spent a little bit of time cleaning up the border before I cut out the picture from the centre. I've got a piece of card behind the border which I'm going to stick the picture onto so that the border sits in front of the picture. It's very hard to get any sort of accurate measurement, so a rough guide is good enough. And whenever I mount my pictures, I always use double-sided sticky foam. This is fantastic, and once you've stuck it down, will never come up again. This was rather nerve-wracking, getting this exactly right, and just taping it down so that it's secure. I've even got a satisfying peel for you. This is the way I made all my pictures. This painting took me a very long time to make, and I'm very happy with the result. I love the 3D effect that you get from the wax, especially in the border, not where it really shines. It stands out and creates an added dimension to this picture. If you enjoyed the process of me making this painting, please like this video and subscribe for more encaustic waxworking art videos. Thank you very much for watching.